So today I'm going to show you 12 simple powerful tips to master Google search from using voice search to finding exact phrases to even tracking packages right in the search bar. Seriously, some of these are total game changers. Stick around because by the end of this video, you will be searching like a pro. Hi, my name is Anjana and welcome to the Tech Girl channel. Tip number one. Use voice search for better results. Let's start with something that's ridiculously easy but super effective. Voice search. Typing on Google is old school and sometimes you just don't have the time or patience to type out the whole question. Or maybe your hands are busy and typing is not even an option. Here's the cool part. When you use Google's voice search, it actually tends to give you more accurate results. Why? Because when we speak, we naturally use a little more detail or ask things in a way that Google can pick up more easily. Think of it like having a quick chat with Google instead of typing out a bunch of keywords and hoping it would understand. All you have to do is just tap on that little microphone icon, say what you're looking for and then let the Google do its thing. It's surprisingly good at picking up natural language even if you're just speaking casually. It's especially helpful for stuff like finding nearby places, weather updates, or when you just want an answer on the go. Tip number two, search within a particular website using site. Have you ever been on a huge website with tons of content like Wikipedia or a news site and you just know what you're looking for is somewhere there but the search function is useless? Here's the trick. You can actually use Google to search within a specific website using site and the website's URL. It's like Google goes into the website, searches for what you want and hands you just those results. For example, if you're on the Apple website and you want the info about the MacBook Pro, just type site apple.com MacBook Pro 13 inch in Google and voila. Google will show you only the MacBook Pro 13 inch results from Apple, not random articles from all over the internet. It's a huge time saver. Tip number three, get definitions instantly with define. Ever come across a word that has you totally stumped? See, you could go to dictionary site, but who has the time for when Google can give you the answer instantly? Just type define followed by the word and Google will show you the definition right at the top. No extra steps needed. So let's say you're reading and you come across a word like zeitgeist, a fancy word that's not usually in your vocabulary. Just type define and voila, you get the definition right at the top. Plus, you also get an option to translate the word in a different language by clicking here. And you've got the definition without any fuss. Super handy if you're in the middle of reading something or doing research. Tip number four, use quotes for exact phrases. Sometimes you need exactly what you're searching for, like a specific quote or line from a song. But Google loves giving you results that are not even close and that's not always helpful. So use quotes around your search phrase and Google will only only show results that include that exact wording. It's so simple, but it makes a huge difference. Perfect for tracking down quotes, song lyrics, or anything where the exact wording matters. Speaking of which, tip number five, use wildcard asterisk for flexible searches. Let's say you remember only a part of the song lyrics and you don't remember that one word between. Google's wildcard asterisk is perfect for this. Just use an asterisk in the place of the word you don't remember and Google will fill in the blanks for you. Tip number six, exclude words with a minus sign. So let's say you're searching for something common like Jaguar, but you're getting all kinds of results for the car when you're actually interested in the animal. Here's the trick. Just add a minus sign in front of the word you don't want and Google will filter those results out. It's like telling Google, show me Jaguar, but not the car. Just type Jaguar minus car and you'll only see the results about animal. Super useful if you keep getting irrelevant results of what you're looking for. You can also use a plus sign to do the opposite. If you type Jaguar plus car, now you just get the cars. You get it, right? Tip number seven, use a colon for range searches. Sometimes you're shopping or doing research and you only want results within a certain range like prices, years, or even sizes. Here's how to do that. Just put two dots between the numbers you want and Google will give you results that fit within that range. For instance, if you're looking for laptops in $500 to $1,000 range, type laptop, $500 dot dot $1,000. Now Google will focus only on results within that price range. Perfect for finding deals without scrolling through tons of options that don't match your budget. While we are here, another tip, search laptop, tools, 
any time and here you can select released last year or even you can select custom range and select particular time you're looking at tip number eight use file type to find specific document types ever need a specific kind of document like pdf or a powerpoint and you're tired of clicking around to find it out google can help with that too just add file type followed by the document type you want and Google will only show results with that file type. This is so useful for finding research papers, reports or presentation. For example, if you're looking for a PDF on climate change, type climate change file type PDF and Google will serve up only PDFs. Super focused and it saves a lot of time. Tip number nine, reverse image search with drag and drop. Ever find an image and wondered where it's from or maybe you want to find similar images? Google's reverse image search is your friend here. Go to images.google.com and just drag and drop the image you have into the search bar. Google will show you similar images, places where the image is used and even high res version if they exist. It's perfect for tracking down sources or or finding more of what you like. Tip number 10, track packages instantly. All right, this is a good one for anyone who does a lot of online shopping. Instead of going to the courier's website and typing in your tracking number, you can just paste your tracking number straight into Google. Google will automatically pull up the tracking details right at the top of the page. It's so easy and you get the info without any extra steps. Tip number 11, search for specific types of images. Ever need a very specific type of image like clip art or a transparent background or a certain color here's how to get just what you need after you do an image search click on tools right below the search bar and Google will give you the options to filter by type, color, size and more. It's a game changer if you're working on a project or looking for something specific. All right, so these were my top tips for mastering Google search. With these tricks, you can get the results much faster with less scrolling and frustration. You will save a lot of time by getting right to the answer you're looking for, whether you're doing research, shopping or just trying to settle a quick debate. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found these tips helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Tech Girl channel for more tech tips and tricks. And also let me know in the comments which Google search tricks was your favorite or if there is another one which you swear by. Happy searching. I'll see you all in the next video. This is Sanjana. Bye-bye.